family. It's your girl, Love Kisses 99, and I'm here to do a wig review for you today. And the wig we're going to review today is called Nikea. And here she is. Now, Nikea is from the Milky Way Lace Front um, Wig Collection, and it is 100% human hair. And on the box, it says that this one can be done with no tape or no glue. So we're going to see if we're going to be able to just wear this one, maybe use a couple bobby pins, and just keep going. This wig is available at ElevateStyles.com. They're a fairly new website, you know, getting up and started. And this color is color number four. So I'm going to just take her out of the box and show her to you. Now, my key is currently available for $78.88 on the website and here she is. She's kind of curly, well wavy really. I'm just going to shake her out a little bit. And here she is. She's 100% human hair and the information on the tag says that you can place her on, use maybe a couple bobby pins, just trim the lace back. You don't have to really use any adhesive if you don't want to. So that's pretty much it and let's just turn her inside out I'm just gonna cut the little take the little tag off as well and show you the inside and this is what the inside looks like it has two combs on each side which look to me to be about right here and it has one comb in the back this is a comb is a little bit larger and then it also has these adjustable straps and I'll show them to you as well. And just the two little adjustable straps. So I'm going to just take a second and cut the lace off. And I will be right back. Took a minute to cut all the lace off. Now the hair feels very soft. And it kind of looks like a spiral curl. So we are going to just try her on and see what she looks like. I've never had a human hair lace wig from Milky Way. This is the first human hair one that I've had. So let's just go for it. And I'm just wearing a regular wig cap. And I'm thinking the only combs I'm going to use is just the one large comb in the back. So I'm just going to adjust my wig cap and push that back a little bit. See how we're going to style her, and since she is human hair, we can use styling products on her, which is always good. And we can also use a uh, curling iron, and I'm just looking on here to see what, there's no temperature, there's no indication of like a high temperature, so I'm thinking that you can just curl this just like you would just regular, you know, human hair. So when I use a bobby pin or two right here, like one on each side, that's what I'm going to do. And it really does fit pretty tight. So I'm just going to put one bobby pin on this side, just for that extra added security. And I'm going to add one on this side as well. I'm really liking the color. It's a very, very light number four. You know, some number fours you get, they're a little bit dark, but this is a very, very light number four. So when I wear her just like this, I most certainly would. Now you can pull the curls apart a little, you know, to just separate them a little bit so that they're not all so uniform. And I'm just gonna style it just with my fingers. She's not really, really long, so that's good, especially for the summer. And I think she has really a natural look to her. And the hair is not very shiny. It looks like African-American hair that might have been set on rollers or like maybe some perm rods or even curled with a, like a small curling iron. So I'm just going to turn around and show you what she looks like in the back. And she's just a little bit just a little bit beyond, like just to about right here. 
So this is what Nakia looks like. So I'm just going to separate the curls a little bit around the front. And what I'm also going to do is grab a little small curling iron just to give a little definition to the curls around the front. Okay, so I am back and I just have my regular little CVS curling iron here. So I'm just going to try to define a few curls right around the front. Just going to follow along with the same pattern. Just a few curls just to see how the hair curls with a regular good old fashioned five dollar curling iron. And as you can see it really does curl very well. So I'm going to do a couple on this side too, just to get these curls over here to pop. I'm going to bring the curling iron up just a little bit closer to see if we can get a tighter curl. Just going to leave that there for a couple seconds. And it gives a pretty good curl. And you can use hairspray on this one. You can use any type of styling products. And I would suggest when washing wigs like these, you know, with the human hair ones that are, you know, with the tracks in the back, I would just fill like a little wash basin with water and just kind of dip the wig up and down or attach it to a mannequin head and wash it. But when you let it dry, just kind of hang it up on, you know, like maybe in the bathroom with maybe a little clip or something. I wouldn't suggest drying it on a mannequin head only because sometimes that gives the wigs an opportunity to stretch out a little bit and you don't really want that. And here is another curl. So I'm just going to separate these a little bit. Just a few curls to frame my face. And I'm really loving this short one already. I love, love, love curly hair. And this one seems to have a nice curl pattern. Plus, if the curls seem to drop out a little bit, you can just use your curling iron to spruce up those curls. I would say if you smooth a little of your hair, lot hair around the front, you could really wear her off of your face because it does have a pretty natural looking hairline. And I'll show you this side as well. And this just has my little bobby pin right here. So can you wear her off your face? I would say yes. Smooth out a little bit of the hair around the front. And you could definitely wear her. Let me cover up my little bobby pin. You could definitely wear her pulled up. And with just tighten the curls around the front a little bit and you'd be good to go if you decided to wear her off of your face. Parting space, I'm just going to show you how much parting space you get. It's from about, just got to feel it out a little bit. It's a short amount of parting space from here, from here to here which is, I would say that's probably about maybe an inch and a half parting space. So that's the amount of parting space you get with Nikea. So that's pretty much it. This is Nikea from Milky Way, part of their human hair lace front wig collection, available at elevatestyles.com. I'll put all of the information right down here in the information bar. And I'm hoping you're enjoying Nikia. I think she's, I think she's kind of pretty. Stop by the website and see what you can find. They have pretty good prices. I'm hoping you have an awesome day today, and I'll see you again soon. Bye.